Hey y'all, so today I'm going to show you how you can set up your buttons in a nice row beside each other and then also make them the same size and all that stuff. So what we're going to do is first you're going to be on whatever page you have your buttons on and then you're going to create a table for those buttons. So I have six buttons that I want to put in the table. So I'm going to have one row and six columns and then I'm going to just put them, put them in whatever order you think fits best for your table and your buttons. You just drag them to where you want them in the table. So I want the modules to be first because that's what they're going to click click on weekly for PE. So now I have them in the table. So they're all the same size and they're all straight, which is great. But you might not want the actual table frame or outline border around it. So the way you're going to do that is you're going to hide the grid basically so you're going to go to table properties advanced and then border style you want to have hidden or none either one so let's do let's see what none looks like so none is still there so let's go back and let's do hidden so you're going to go border advanced none hidden so now the borders for the table are gone they're hidden but you still have your cell borders. So now we need to go, we need to fix those. So you're gonna to go to cell, cell properties, advanced, border style, hidden. Okay, and you just do that for each one. I would not suggest doing this if you have a bunch of different cells because you're probably going to want um, the borders for those cells in that case. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. So we're gonna finish this. And again, this just helps it so all of your buttons are the same size if you want them to be all the same size. And it also helps it be in a straight line. So a lot of times I had problems like with my buttons going down to the next row when I wanted them to be on the same row. Um, so this fixed that problem for me. So if you're having that same issue, it might work for you too. So all of these buttons are now the same size and in a line. So I kept on my table, I kept my cell and my table borders because I'm going to have a lot of information right here and I want to keep them separated. So that's one instance where you might want to keep your table looking like an actual table. So let's save it and let's see what it's going to look like for my students. Look at that. It just looks so much cleaner. All right, guys. Good luck.